Full disclaimer guys, I'm sorry if this video is a little awkward. I have been a little while since I lighted a shipyard showcase and uh, it's a little awkward for me. I have no idea what I'm doing. It has been a really long time. <laughs> now this is the life of luxury. I think I can get used to this. Hello everyone, my name is Dark Romnick and welcome to Shipyard Showcase. The videos where we showcase awesome vehicles. They tend to be vehicles that involve mobile bases. I'm not a big fan of your know, battleships. I love mobile bases to pieces. And uh, yeah, this week, well, month, year, I don't know. Well, when, when is the last time I did one of these videos? <laughs> we got the Marathon Mobile Exploration Base by Dirkman. By Dermacrat. Oh, wow, so that's Dermocrat. Oh, I was having trouble pronouncing that for a moment there. And seriously, this is really luxurious. This room gives me ideas for what I can do with my own base. Wow. Nice kitchen. Wait, what's that ticking noise? What's that mysterious ticking noise? Let's just hope it's not anything explosive. <laughs> oh, clean collar. Everyone loves a clean collar. Um, you think it's going to explode on impact like it did for my other stuff? Oh, no, no, no. It's perfectly fine. No clanging this time. Yeah, you never know. It might clang by accident. I mean, it is a clean collar. So, as you can see, this vehicle is wheels. Sweet, glorious wheels. There's something really, 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 really nice about a vehicle base. A mobile wheelie, vehicle basey majiggy. You know, just basically not a flying base. <laughs> you know, there's something really glorious about one with wheels. Because it takes that extra effort and creativity to actually successfully pull it off. From here, it just looks like a vehicle. You know, a really nice looking vehicle. But, you know, it's not very large you wouldn't expect it to be as roomy as it is on the inside and it is really roomy and oh when i saw that it looks like it can fit a crew of six judging by the cryopods i'm like whoa you can really expect a lot out of this thing considering you know it's a nice mobile base it's got its uh just a few turrets you know just enough to defend you against missiles and maybe shoot down some small craft you're not going to be expecting to pick up a big fight or anything like that. Just, you know, enough to survive in the wasteland. You never know what's going to attack. Hey, this would actually go pretty good for a certain someone's uh, mobile vehicle server. I mean, it's not modded. <laughs> Could you imagine having this thing rolling around up on you? <laughs> You'd be crushed for sure. Uh, okay, so here we got ourselves. Well, the hangar can be uh, suited for either vehicles, you know, either type of vehicles, flying or driving. And I am getting really tongue-tied. It seems that when you haven't done a mobile vehicle... Ah! I'm getting really tongue-tied. It seems that when you haven't done a shipyard showcase video in over a year, you kind of forget how it's done and start uh, having trouble remembering how it works. I'm sure I'll get back into, the, uh, back into it. But ah, uh, as you can see, this hangar is actually really nice and roomy. You can fit a lot in here. I actually suspect that you can fit a few things in here. Although the connections are a bit off the side, so you'd have to have a very interesting vehicle to come in here. I suppose it depends on what sort of vehicles you got planned in here. Like, you could probably fit a couple small flying craft. Maybe even a one or two wheeled vehicles, depending on what you want. Although, I'm not sure how you connect a wheeled vehicle here. Meh! I'd have to have a side connector, and then once, you know, the ramp is up, uh, do 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 where's that ramp button? Here we go. Once the ramp is up, then you'd have to rotate your, just a slight smidgen, just that way you can get into the connector. I will... What? Oh, oh, well, that's, that's what's making the noise. I didn't realize that was there. Otherwise, you know, you'd have a bit of problem with not being able to get a connection. But, yeah. So what else has this vehicle got? It's got, obviously, a refinery, I think. I'm pretty sure I'm looking at it right now. I didn't actually know where it was. Turns out they're underneath. Oh, hiding well from my vision. My very poor vision that requires glasses. 
Hey, actually, where is it? I could have... Oh, wait, there's one, I think. Yeah, that's, that's one. That means the other would be over here. Don't entirely know why these thrusters aren't doing anything. I turn them on. They, they're off. I think it's actually glitchy at the moment, my computer. Wait, I, I've already said that before and in the past. Ah, because uh, basically this thing is oxygenated, but every time I open a door, it just vents the entire vehicle. I don't know what's going on with the oxygen in the vehicle. I'm pretty sure everything is working fine, except for my computer. It was very frustrating when I open a door and then all of a sudden there's no oxygen in here and I haven't been able to get oxygen back ever since. Oh, wait, no, here's another room with oxygen venting. Uh, let's see, how many uh, beds we got? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, 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 crew is six. I was right, judging by the cryopods underneath, which uh, should be in this door. As you can see, it's got a air vent door system. Awesome. You ain't going to be worried about accidentally venting yourself out because they, you know, they refuse to open unless they've gone through a cycle. Here is, um, I'm not sure. I don't think this room is supposed to have oxygen in it. I think this is more like the underbelly of the ship, you know? It's, uh, just there as a sort of, it's there. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can see that you can clearly go, uh, no oxygen is going to stay in here. So yeah, this is more like the works of the ship. But clearly there will be oxygen here. Otherwise, you know, I'd hate to be, you know, going to sleep for a thousand years and suffocating in my sleep because <laughs> that would be terrible so yeah this is like the uh, engineering room you got yourself a survival kit in here although there is a survival kit in the uh in the hangar in the hangar uh i really wish i'd done more of these videos but i kind of forgot no, it's more that I couldn't find too many interesting, uh... It's more that I couldn't find too many interesting mobile bases. Uh, there was a few, but by the time I found them, it took me weeks before I actually found them. And I'm like, ah, it took too long. So I was more like dragging on and on and on. But then I saw this vehicle, I'm like, ooh, this is really nice looking. This is, oh, wait, there's actually three survival kits in this thing. Huh. What's in here? Have I? Oh wait, to bathroom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bathroom. Shower. Is this one also a bathroom? No, it's just a toilet. Okay. So yeah, this uh, thing actually has some pretty good living quarters in here. Living quarters are right next to the cockpit, which is really cool. You got yourself a really nice, fancy-looking seat. I like the way the uh, screens here are see-through. Makes them look like windows, except, you know, windows with awesome stuff on them. Got all your information you need. They're also used for, like, things like this. And, uh, um, nothing else. I thought there was more than that on each chair. Do you just love, you know, mixing small grids with large grids? They make decorating so much easier. Wait, what? Captain seat? Cap Co-pilot seat? I thought this was the captain seat. I get for not reading the information. Then, what's the difference between a captain seat and a primary seat? Especially as the primary seat requires you to use the remote control block. I don't know. I have no idea. Oh yes, there's plenty of uh, programming blocks of all the usual stuff in here. You know, the awesome information that you can always deal with. Actually, did I check to see if there's reactors in here? I know that there's solar panels, but what about re Ooh, just a small reactor, but there's only uh, two large refineries and one assembler. So not too much of your know, heavy power hogs in the ship. That small reactor should be fine, especially with the solar panels on the roof. How many was there again? Two. Two. That's where Keen needs to go and rework their solar panels. I mean... Windmills. Windmills are really, 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 really awesome. And then solar panels are just the same as always. Yeah. Solar panels need a little bit more work. They need to be stronger and more powerful than ever before. You know what I miss about Shipyard Showcase? Driving these awesome beasts around and picking fights with... Uh, wait, why is it not moving? Hello, ship. Oh, here we go. Picking fights with pirates. Picking fights with pirates is always fun. Hey, that looks pretty cool having that opening and closing while I'm moving. 
what's on it? It's got a pretty good turning radius on it. It's a little bit slow, but then on the other hand, do you really want a giant heavy wheelie base to be, you know, fast? Could only imagine that ending in horror and pain and misery. Ah oh well, you know what that means. It's time to test out its capabilities against the missile post. I really wish I had done one of these, well, beforehand. Like I said, it's been way too long. I am really out of it. Maybe I should go watch my back catalogue of these videos. So I remember how I did all these. Because I am so tongue tidy and... Ugh, I have no idea what I'm saying or what I'm doing anymore. <laughs> I'm just lost and confused. But I do remember the fun parts. Picking fights with pirates. That's always the fun part. And that's actually pretty small. I should win pretty easily. So long as I don't get hit too much. Die, potato. Die! Ow! Ow! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Uh oh. Um. Nope. Nope. Oops. Stop, stop, stop. Ooh, miss me. Miss me. Miss me. Miss me. Miss. Why are my turrets not shooting anymore? Oh, I see why my turrets weren't shooting anymore. So, whoa, 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 whoa. Where'd all the wheels go? It's because my turrets on the sides that were shooting, and that was the only thing that was shooting. Stuff on top weren't shooting. This guy have a lot of trouble driving with missing so many wheels. He's life to come from that way now. Ugh. Bloody thrusters, I don't know what glitch is making them not work. Let's just turn them back on and maybe they'll- oh, oh, now they're working! They weren't working earlier. Huh, weird. Now I just gotta figure out why the oxygen ain't working. Destroy my enemies! Destroy them! Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! That was a lucky hit. There's a spare cockpit! Ah! Ah! <laughs> Finish him! <laughs> oh, uh oh. Nope, 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 nope. There's one wheel left. Oh, wait, no, no, wow, okay. <laughs> this is uh, an interesting way to drive. I don't think I've ever driven quite like this before. Oh, no, it's not enough. I'm stuck. I'm definitely stuck. Oh, no, no, I'm moving somehow, miraculously. Ow, stop it. Stop picking on me. Charge. Ah! How much damage was that done? I thought, there's a tiny outpost. How did I lose? I mean, seriously, it's so tiny, it had a missile. There's just a couple turrets. I should have kicked his butt. Instead, I got my butt kicked. That's crazy. Actually, the damage looks pretty superficial. It's mainly the wheels, the turrets. Oh, they're working still. A lot of heavy front damage. Yeah, the damage is actually pretty superficial. I'm just stuck and can't move. So this could kind of hold its own in a firefight. So long as, you know, you took control of the turrets yourself and told them to pick a fight with the missiles. Otherwise, you know, you pretty much... Wait, why is that repairing itself? Well, that would explain why I couldn't win. Every time that it got shot, it would repair itself. But yeah, forcing control of the turrets to aim directly at the missile turret and nothing else is clearly the way to win. Ooh, ooh, ooh! I know what I want to do now. I noticed it's got parachutes on here. I want to test out its orbital drop capabilities. Yes, that'd be nice. Ooh, it's got a nice gyro in here. I suppose that's for orbital drops and all that. Could you imagine, you know, it's, uh, it's like you, you're playing with a friend and the friend just annoys you one too many times, you know, they've destroyed your base or something like that one too many times and you're like, you know what, I'm just going to go and uh, lock you in this thing and then I'm going to drag you off to another planet and then I'm going to just drop this thing out and then you can survive on your own away from me. <laughs> Aren't I nice? But yeah. Your friend, he's definitely going to survive because this thing has everything you need in it. It's got wheels, it's got parachutes, that's all you need to survive, right? Oh, um, you, you do have, you know, the med bays and refineries and stuff. They're, they're, they're secondary. <laughs> Although it's having trouble staying straight, it keeps rocking. 
Oh, that didn't sound good. Clang and a half there. Speed has dropped reasonably, so parachutes are great. Strong enough to survive. Yes, yes, yes. So, if you want to drop your friends onto an unwilling and unsurvival plan. Uh, no. So, if you want to survive your friend. <laughs> so, if you're sick and tired of your friends and you want to make sure they survive as you get rid of them, <laughs> just throw them in one of these. They'll definitely survive. <laughs> <laughs> There's plenty of people who I would like to just drop off on another planet. Get away from me! <laughs> Landed it! Bloop. Ta-da! Worked perfectly. Next time I gotta work on my aim. I was trying to drop it on that building, which is probably on the other side of that mountain. So, this vehicle, it's great. It's got everything you need for surviving. Turrets, refineries, wheels. Wheels my favorite part of surviving. Parachutes, hangars, power. It's got everything you need. Best of all, it allows you to just drive off into the sunset thanks to those wheels. Uh oh. Um. Or fly off into the sunset thanks to those wheels? Ow! Oh, that sounded painful. That sounded exceedingly painful. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully I'll be able to do more of these. Oh, well, I'm, I'm going to die. <laughs> so, guys, if you enjoyed this episode, well, you know what to do. You know, like and subscribe and not share with your friends. Otherwise, I'll see you all next time. Wait, what? What? I was expecting an earth shattering kaboom. Ah, Somehow this one. Ground zero, vehicle one. Playing with a friend and the friend just annoys you one too many times, you know. They've destroyed your base or something like that one too many times and you're like, you know what? I'm just gonna go and uh, lock you in this thing and then I'm gonna drag you off to another planet and then I'm gonna just drop this thing out and then you can survive on your own away from me. <laughs>